welcome back again. This is Gail Francis for the Gaffer Smart Art. So you've seen the um, part two, and now you're into part three of my virtual art tour. So then this tour, you've seen the last three stages, which is the um, youngster stage, teenage stage, and adult stage. Um, I hope you enjoy it. So as we approach the youngster stage, this is where I am still doing watercolors, but I'm now attempting to try different techniques and use a lot more color, understand the, the color wheel and combinations of colors. The box down below, as I'm showing there, is where you can read more about what I'm describing and based on what is happening. So as we move through the paintings, this painting here is called Traffic in the City. It's a watercolor I did when I was um, doing a workshop in Boone, North Carolina. And that was my assignment. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. At first, it showed me that, you know, sometimes you create mud, but sometimes even mud is beautiful. And this one is cars, um, cars in the city. And this one is blue pirog, all watercolors. And this one is my neighborhood. Um, again, when I looked out my window, that's what I saw. This painting is Chop Chop. It's a restaurant on Mukarapu Road. I saw the chef putting the pizza in the kiln and I took a picture and I painted that and this is a house on Oxford Street is one of those old Sinclair lattice houses and this is the Toko lighthouse and this is the same house again but from the front view I really love that house I just love all the lattice work um, and all the fret work it's just beautiful and that one is I was walking on Chancellor going to exercise and I looked down on the ground and there was all this rubble I took a picture of it and that's what I painted. And this is a vagrant digging through the rubbish in Abercrombie Street. Um, they're all watercolors. Um, and these are all places that, that I'm describing that are in Trinidad and Tobago or scenes that I saw in Trinidad and Tobago. So as we go through my youngster stage, um, again, that's a, um, I call that the dark period. Um, watercolors again, and that that is um, on the road to Sinclair Medical, which is a hospital in Trinidad, and this is a river in Pawi, an area in Toko. And this is an outdoor cafe, and this is walking in the countryside. So these are pieces I did from 2011 to 2015, all watercolors. And again, I'm just um, experimenting and, and, you know, trying my skill at the flow and ebb of watercolors. And now we're entering the teenage stage. Here, Again, um, still doing a few watercolors, but now I've discovered acrylics and I have uh, discovered abstract, doing ab um, abstracts with acrylics, as well as mixed media. So in this stage, I've learned some different techniques and mixing of the different mediums, which was a lot of fun. And, and I especially got obs obsessed with, with um, abstracts. Um, that painting there is a place called Smokey and Bunty in Trinidad in St. James. I, I painted, I took a picture of it and I painted it before it burned down. And that's the Arima clock. Again, uh, one of the areas in Trinidad. And these are some examples of abstract paintings. And this is my first geometric painting. You know, my husband saw it and he said, it looks like three people sitting at a table. So I call it three at the table. And that's uh, another acrylic um, using technique called mark making. Or intuitive painting so we move through the abstracts and now we're heading yet yeah, we're looking right now at tree at the table which is a geometric abstract um, I started doing that after looking at a, an artist called um, Michael Lang and I just said I want to try that and that was my first piece and here we have some more acrylic abstracts the first one is called life in the cities and the other one is called motherhood I wonder why and then we have some more mark making or intuitive paintings. So these are all acrylics. And then the one on the in the middle with the boats, that's called um, Boats and Cousin. And the one on the end is a farmhouse in Santa Cruz in the area where I live. But those last two to the right are watercolors. As we move along to the other wall, again, some more watercolors. A hut, the first one is a hut in Grand Coover, the second one is a the lighthouse, and the third one is a snow cone vendor uh, around a place called the Savannah in Trinidad. And we now approach 
um, and then this next wall, the brown field. I was just experimenting with letting watercolors flow and in a, in a lot looser fashion. And then the one next to it is blue abstract house. And then the, the, the third one is a house that I saw when I went on a hike in Maracas and Joseph. I took a picture of it and it's called Abandoned Hut. That's a watercolor. In fact, the blue hut is also a watercolor. So I'm still doing watercolors, but I'm discovering acrylics. And as we enter my adult stage of my art journey, you will go straight into seeing my first um, series, which is called Women in the Water. And they're all acrylics, and they all represent the situations that women get into and the difficulties, and some of us float ab above it, some of us, it's, we drown in, in it. But to me, water represents God. So these three women here, my women in the water, represent um, the situations that, you know, we women have to deal with and some of them are difficult, some of them we just can't handle and some of them we float above them. And these two are my, 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 not, my other series called Feelings. The first one is Gratitude and the second one is Fearless. Um, this is where I'm now entering into doing the human body, um, which is something difficult for me and challenging. Um, so I'm doing a lot more experimenting with, you know, doing the physical shapes, etc. And this painting here, as we leave the series feelings, is some intuitive paintings. All these are intuitive paintings or mark making paintings of different sizes. Please note that the paintings look very large on the walls, but you need to read the dialogue box to see the exact signs because I've magnified them so you can see the paintings properly. So this is one of my intuitive paintings. Um, this is like I think a 15 by 38 um, or 30 by 38, I can't remember, 24 by 38. But this is intuitive painting. Again, a lot of these are magnified so you can see the, the art piece clearly, but they're very, they're, some of them are much smaller than they appear on the walls. And some of them are almost the same size that they look as they look as they look like on the wall. And there's my my angel series, and then my light poles. These are all acrylics. I'm getting more into the colors, and and this painting is a painting called "Show It's a Restaurant in One Rubber Place in Trinidad." And <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, it's a watercolor. And um, again, just took a picture of what it looked like inside with this, this couple that were romancing each other, I guess. And I painted that scene. And now we're heading towards some more um, abstracts. That one is called Intertwined, the one that we're facing. Another geometric. And then we were heading towards my third series called Evolution of Man. I was, again, learning how to do paint faces and there's a method called the Riley method and in doing the Riley method instead of using it to know how to shade the different tones of the face I use it like almost like a kaleidoscope and these are my representations of the Riley method initially they had no eyes and then I, I painted real eyes and real lips etc and the piece at the top on this wall is my first abstract and the two below it are what I call People in the cosmos. They are abstract backgrounds with um, abstract people in them. So this is in the adult stage of my evolution. I've learned acrylics, I've learned abstracts, I've learned to do um, the human body. Um, I've veered a lot into the abstracts. I'm still doing a few watercolors but not as much and it's been a really learning experience but one that is very freeing because I'm painting whatever I feel like or whatever inspires me. And I've been having a lot of fun. I paint when I, I because sometimes I want to paint, but I'm a little scared to. And then I start, and then everything just flows. So as we leave the adulthood stage of my evolution, my painting evolution, we move back into the baby stage of um, the pieces that I have in there. I like to see from the entrance and the gallery tour takes you back out to the beginning through the corridor 
um, as you pass, you see all my pieces from when I first started painting on my watercolors. And it takes you back to the front where um, you can either end the tour or you can go back to look at other pieces as you see fit. And that's how the tour is. You can pause, you can go backwards, you can go forward. You click on an art piece, a button, a window comes up on the top left with all the d details about the pieces as well as there's a window at the bottom, a black window at the bottom that also has details so that you can read about each piece or read about what is happening in the tour. And as you, you go down the corridor, you face a bench and above the bench are three of my people in the cosmos, people, um, pieces with um, in different colors. Because those pieces were based on color and how they affect us and what works for us and what doesn't. So I hope you enjoyed this tour and the link will be available um, down below and you can go through the tour at your leisure and I really really hope you enjoyed it and you enjoy my art and if you're interested in anything when you um, click on the on the piece art piece there's a URL that you can copy and paste into your browser that will take you straight to the store to be able to purchase it even in the window at the bottom the black window at the bottom you will see the URL for the piece and you can copy and paste it into your browser and it will take you straight to my Etsy store. Thanks again and thank you for sharing this tour with me. I hope you see pieces that inspire you and that you want to buy. Bye for now. So that was my virtual art show. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the platform, I think, can be used by anyone. You know, like you said, you said, you said I don't know, flowers, anything. But those are my pieces and I hope you enjoy this story behind some of them. Like I said, if you're interested in getting any of the pieces, um, those who are on my email list or who have been getting my emails, you will be getting the link for the tour as well as do the slide and you can click on the link to get to the bag or you can email me those who don't have any other we're going to put you putting the links on facebook instagram and my youtube channel so you can find me there so you will be able to get the link up somewhere um this was very interesting i mean i'm i'm not normally techy <laughs> but I would like to thank all the individuals who helped me with this. I would like to thank Ruth for her beautiful music. I would like to thank Daniela for coming on and doing that interview with me. I would like to thank Ariel for her spoken word. Beautiful and peaceful. I would especially like to thank Marietta, my coordinator. She saved my life. I would like to thank my son who encouraged me to do this. Social media is the millennial thing. I would like to thank Ken and Nita who did my video for my Facebook ad. I'd also like to thank my husband, my friends, and my friends who've been on. I see that I'm still seeing Arlene and Hazel and, and Quentin and Sarah and anybody else who's on. Thank you so much for coming on and um, sharing this with me. And this is like if I missed out anybody. No. Right? No, I didn't miss anybody. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, you know how to contact me. And um, this is the pieces behind that do any. So they're, they're available. Right? Be safe. Wear your mask. And thank you for sharing this with me. Have a great evening, everyone. So that was the end of it. That's basically the entire virtual art tour. You've just seen my last three stages. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. This is Gail Francis from Gaffra's Smart Art. Um, if you're interested in any of the paintings, just the link is below so that you can go to the art tour on your own. 
and I hope you um, feel free to, to purchase anything. Uh, and I'm glad that you enjoyed the entertainment as well. So see you next time. And don't forget, if you, if you missed part one and two, you can go back and take a look at those as well. All right, bye for now.